Hello friends, today we are going to study how to make the structures of oxoacids of phosphorus quickly. To make the structures of oxoacids of phosphorus, we have to see some points. The first point says that phosphorus only forms 5 bonds and has a tetrahedral geometry. That means phosphorus will form bonds with 4 atoms. One bond will be a double bond and the other three bonds will be single bonds. In this way, phosphorus forms a tetrahedral geometry. The next point says that we have to fill oxygen first and then OH groups. You will fill one oxygen here and then you have to fill OH groups in the three remaining bonds. The number of OH groups will vary according to the oxo acid of phosphorus. The next point says that now you have to fill oxygen and hydrogen atoms. That means at these remaining positions you have to fill oxygen and hydrogen. Next point says that in compounds having two phosphorus atoms you have to place equal OH groups on both the phosphorus atoms. That means if you have two phosphorus atoms in a compound then you have to give equal OH groups to both of the phosphorus atoms to maintain the symmetry of the compound. I know this point is not clear to you but when we will create oxo acid ke structures abhi banayenge, then this point will be clear to you. The first oxo acid is H3PO2. In this, you will make a double bond and three single bonds like this. First of all, you will place an oxygen at the double bond position, and then you can see that you have one oxygen atom remaining and three hydrogen atoms remaining. So, you can fill one OH group here and then we can see that we have only two hydrogen atoms remaining that we can fill at these empty places. In this way, you can see that the structure of H3PO2 is completed. Now, we will see the structure of H3PO3. You will follow the same steps. You will place one oxygen here and one OH here. Now you can see that one oxygen is remaining and two hydrogens are remaining. So you can place another OH group here and you can now place the remaining hydrogen at this remaining position. In this way the structure of H3PO3 is also completed. Now we will see the structure of H3PO4. I am following the same steps here. I have filled one oxygen, then I will place two OH groups just like the previous compound. But you can see that one extra oxygen and one extra hydrogen is left here. So I will place another OH group at this empty position. So, in this way, H3PO4 structure is completed. Now, we will see the structure of H4P2O5. Guys, first of all, you will make a single bond between two phosphorus atoms. Then, you will show other three bonds of this phosphorus like this and the other three bonds of this phosphorus like this. You will make a double bond here and a double bond here. And now you will fill two oxygen atoms at these two positions. Then you can see we have three oxygen and four hydrogen remaining. That means I can fill one OH group here and I will give this phosphorus atoms another OH group because I have to evenly distribute the OH groups between these two phosphorus atoms to maintain the symmetry of the compound. 
now you can see one oxygen and two hydrogen are left so you can say that i can fill one oh group at one of these places but oh groups ko equally distribute karna hoga taki is compound ki symmetry maintain reh sake so i will fill the remaining two hydrogen at this position i will place the oxygen here like this to maintain the symmetry of the compound you can see that in this way the symmetry of the compound is maintained let's see the other compound that is h4p2o6 here also you will make a single bond between two phosphorus atoms you will show the three bonds of each phosphorus like this you will make these bonds as double bonds and fill two respective oxygens here then you can see that you have four oxygen and four hydrogen remaining that means you can make four oh groups and distribute two two oh groups between the two phosphorus atoms so i can fill the four oh groups like this in this way the structure of h4p2o6 is completed and you can see that the symmetry is also maintained in this compound now we will see h4p2o7 first you have to show a single bond between two phosphorus atoms now you will follow the same steps now you can see you have five oxygen and four hydrogen left with this you can make four oh groups and you can fill these four oh groups like this but now we have one oxygen left and now i will fill the oxygen like this jaisa ki maine h4 p2o5 mein kiya tha in this way the structure of h4p2o7 is clear guys in sub compounds ki basic t nikalne ke liye and reducing and non reducing compounds ka concept samajhne ke liye you have to see my next video link description mein dal diya jayega if you like this video then like and share and comment in the comment box thank you so much guys